Well, they must have thought trademark disputes only happen to other people. They would never happen to us, right? I'm Andre Minkov, the founder of Trademark Factory, and in this video, I'm going to share my thoughts about yet another trademarking screw-up. This time around, it's the fight around the FHOP brand. Let me read it from the article, as always, and you can find the link in the description below. Fallmouth Family Pizzeria battle escalates with lawsuit over trademark. Two generations of the Sadiropoulos family claim the right to use FHOP to market their competing restaurants. Hmm. Okay. A legal dispute is heating up between family members over who can use the trademark for an iconic local Pizzeria. George Soteropoulos was set to open the new Foresight House of Pizza this week in the same Fullmouth Shopping Center storefront where his parents previously ran the longtime Fullmouth House of Pizza. The new restaurant sign prominently displays the FHOP moniker. Antonia and Steve Soteropoulos, George's parents, Meanwhile, are seeking a zone change to build a new Fallmouth House of Pizza restaurant and brewery farther north on Route 1. And, according to their attorney, the elder Soteropoulos are also just weeks away from opening a boutique eatery, FHOP Express, with a limited menu inside the new Ella Market and Grill at 125 Bucknam Road. Ella is owned and operated by their youngest son, Nicholas. So an attorney uh, on Monday said his clients are suing their oldest son in Cumberland County Superior Court to stop him from using FHOP, which they argue has been exclusively associated with the Fullmouth House of Pizza for more than 40 years. They sued uh, after George Soteropoulos ignored a cease and desist letter. Uh, George Soteropoulos' attorney acknowledged the receipt of the lawsuit, but on Tuesday said he couldn't comment publicly until he conferenced with his client. Besides the lawsuit, uh, the attorney said, the elder Soteropoulos' are also seeking a temporary restraining order that would keep George Soteropoulos from using FHOP in association with his business until the lawsuit is decided. Uh, and uh, so the attorney hopes the judge might agree to hear the uh, TRO motion this week and no later than next week. Okay, so uh, and I'm going to finish, finish it uh, later, but this temporary restraining order, uh, basically it's a preliminary injunction that they're looking for is they want to ask the court before the court hears the entire case on its merits to say, look, I know it's going to take a while for you to hear the whole thing, but meanwhile, we want you to stop George from opening the restaurant with a new name because if we are right and it is a case of infringement, every day when his restaurant is open with that name would hurt us more. Uh, and uh, really, by the time you hear it, uh, the damage would be irreversible. This is what they're going to say. And of course, the other side is going to say, no, 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 no. Uh, they don't have a case. Uh, and even if they do, uh, their losses can be compensated with money and we're, we're whole, you know, we don't have a problem paying them if they're right, which of course we know they aren't. That's going to be the, the fight around the uh, preliminary injunction. Uh, usually, Courts hate giving those in intellectual property cases because really it's difficult uh, to uh, separate uh, the preliminary injunction and the finding on the merits. Because the whole point of preliminary injunctions is uh, to uh, separate right what happens before the decision and what happens after. Uh, and uh, if you can make that determination without uh, entering the uh, decision on the merits, that's what usually preliminary injunctions are for. And that's why courts don't like them uh, in the sense that they have to look into too many things to decide if the preliminary injunction should be granted. We'll see how this goes here. But let me keep reading. 
Uh, the case we're making is that our folks uh, have used the FHOP trademark for decades and everyone knows that, he said. George can't use FHOP when it's ours. It's confusing and it's unfair and it's just not right. Complicating the dispute is the fact George Sartoropoulos this year registered the FHOP trademark for the Forsyth House of Pizza with the main Secretary of State's office, so it's a state, state mark not a federal one, uh, but Snump said under trademark law, it's not necessarily the first filer who gets to use the trademark. The law, he says, recognizes prior use as a factor. Uh, part of the complaint against George Sotoropoulos also accuses him of fraudulent registration. They say, Forsyth House and George S. knowingly made a false representation in connection with the April 23rd registration of FHOP the lawsuit says, for example, Foresight House and George S. represented that FHOP had not been previously used. The lawsuit adds Foresight House and George S. had knowledge that FHOP was used in connection with the Full Mouth House of Pizza, including but not limited to menus, advertising, and social media. The other counts in the lawsuit are trademark infringement, dilution, deceptive trade practices, and conversion. Along with the TRO, the attorney said his clients are asking the court to permanently enjoin George Sotoropoulos from using FHOP in any matter, ordering him to cancel his trademark registration and turn over all social media controls for any platform referring to FHOP as associated with Foresight House of Pizza. The lawsuit also asked the court to permanently enjoin George Sotoropoulos from making any representations and undertaking any conduct which suggests in any way that Foresight House is associated or related to Full Mouth House. Uh, the pizza war between George Sotoropoulos and the rest of his family began this spring when Antonia and uh, Steve Sotoropoulos were evicted by the new owners of the Full Mouth Shopping Center, Jonathan Cohen and Joseph Soli. There are still conflicting accounts about what had led to the eviction, but what became clear is that while Cohen and Soli asked the elder Sotoropoulos to leave the shopping plaza, they were negotiating a new lease with George Sotoropoulos, who had plans to open new pizzeria under the name Foresight House of Pizza. At a town council meeting Monday, Lee Sotoropoulos, the Sotoropoulos' middle son, said it was his parents' intention to reopen in the uh, Full Mouth House of Pizza in the new location right away, but they were unable to find a suitable location. And with their recent experience as tenants uh, at the mercy of a landlord, his parents decided they wanted to build a new restaurant they would own outright. The problem is the undeveloped lot uh, is the business and professional zone, which does not allow restaurants. That's why Lee Sotoropoulos and his parents are seeking a change to the village center zone. Now, before I move on, well, I have to say this, right? You may or may not know, I'm really not a big fan of government regulation. Not a big fan at all. And uh, zoning is one of those things that every time I hear about it makes me go like, oh! <laughs> right? It's not the government's role to tell business owners uh, what they can or cannot build. Uh, and uh, really, it should not be determined by bureaucrats uh, it should be determined by the market this is my opinion so every time i see something like this being an obstacle for brand owners for business owners to build their business it's 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 just makes me cringe but let me keep going lee sauteropolis who has been running the family-owned antonia's pizzeria in freeport for the past several years said Monday that his parents hired a commercial real estate broker to help with the search for a new location for the Full Mouth House of Pizza, but we just keep hitting roadblock after roadblock. It seems like this new lot is the only one that's really available. Sotoropoulos said his parents wanted to stay on Route 1 uh, and not be too far from where they operated their original restaurant. We love this town and want to continue to do business in Full Mouth, he said, although no specific details were available about the new restaurant and brewery. Uh, while counselors were sympathetic to the zoning request, and many said they couldn't wait for a new Fall Mouth House of Pizza to open, they were 
wary about making a change without understanding all of the impacts. They noted the Route 1 North report, which was completed several years ago, does not include restaurants among the recommended uses of that stretch of the highway. Councillor Jay Trickett, who was a member of the Route 1 North Committee, said while members of the group did not agree on everything, the original goal was for Route 1 North to be complementary but different from Route 1 South. Okay, well, because of course the government and the councillors know best, right? Who would know best what uh, is best for the businesses, what is best for people? Of course, it has to be some bureaucrats. Ugh. Oh, I agree in the abstract. We'd all be excited to see this happen, but there are broader issues and we're being careful about making any land use charges. Of course, they're broader issues. They're called power right? You want to make decisions for others. That's the only broader issue, really. Councillor Hope Cahan agreed and said the council would have to carefully consider what we're losing versus what we're gaining. And that's going to take some discussion and analysis. Yeah, of course, like they have to analyze. All right. So let me, let me <laughs> go back to trademarks. Uh, lest I spend another 25 minutes talking about zoning, governments, and all of that crap. So, uh, there's a few interesting things here. The first thing is that something I've always said, that biggest fights always come from best of friendships, right? When parties don't trust each other right away, usually they take steps to not get into big fights because they make proper arrangements to coexist. It's families, it's best friends, it's partners. They are the ones who end up in the most bitter of fights because it's all the, well, I trusted you. How could you do this to me? And here, right, you're our son, right? You, you, who, who, who would know better about our legacy, about our restaurant that we've been building all these years and you're doing this, that's such a betrayal. You're such a bad person, right? This is what makes these disputes so bitter. Uh, and uh, that's one thing. The other thing is, uh, of course, the parents. 40 years, they've been operating a restaurant and never bothered to trademark it. And now they got all the money in the world to throw at lawyers to go after uh, his, their, their son, to go after anybody who would uh, infringe on the mark that they suddenly value so much, right? It all boils down to they could have prevented all of this from happening at a fraction of the cost had they only considered trademarking the brand first, but they didn't. And, and, and again, now they're going to find probably what would cost them 10, maybe 50, maybe 100 times more than it would have cost them to get the trademark registration originally. Uh, and and, and, and that's, that's sad. And of course, there's this issue of how full names relate to abbreviations. So there's uh, full mouth, there's uh, foreside, and there's freeport. They all start with an F. How many towns can start with an F? <laughs> right? Uh, so in theory, House of Pizza by itself would be descriptive. It would not be trademarkable uh, if, if, if it's not even generic, it's maybe even generic. So that would not be trademarkable. Then adding the name of the city or the town before House of Pizza would probably make it descriptive, uh, but still potentially registrable, especially if you can show acquired distinctiveness. And like if you were running the, the, the rest restaurant for 40 years, that would not have been a difficult thing to do. But here's the kicker. The abbreviation FHOP is the same for Foreside or Fallmouth or Freeport House of Pizza. They all are FHOP and that uh, creates an interesting situation with likelihood of confusion. So can parents stop their son uh, in a new location from calling his restaurant Foreside House of Pizza if they only had 
if they only had full mouth house of pizza maybe not but can they stop him from using FHOP based on their use of FHOP uh, that's probably yes so again it would take them a lot more money a lot more effort a lot more time now to uh, go after their son uh, in this trademark infringement lawsuit but they at least have a way to win but only for the abbreviation so when you are using abbreviation make sure that you treat it as a separate brand so if if you have a full name if you have a, uh, a an abbreviation don't treat them as one brand don't think about it that just because I have a full name the abbreviation is also protected or the other way if you have trademarked the abbreviation don't necessarily think that the full name would also be automatically protected from the trademarking perspective it's two totally separate brands and you probably need two separate trademarks now uh, we'll see of course where this is gonna go it's it's uh, not gonna end well it's gonna be a better fight uh, you know we've got the zoning issues here the landlord issues here the trademark issues here and really what this whole thing is about is betrayal right and uh, the, the, that's why everybody's so bitter uh, and um, like I said could have easily been prevented if only the parents trademarked the name first and uh, properly owned it and uh, well that's not what happened all right so I hope that you learned something useful and uh, if you did and you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do subscribe actually let me wait a moment while you're subscribing and while you're at it click that notification bell right because we want to make sure that you get notified whenever the next video goes live uh, and there's always something new about trademarks about brands about entrepreneurship that I would make a video on and bring it over to you now if you have a brand that you want to protect right whether it's an abbreviation or a full name or maybe both and you don't know necessarily how to do it or what to start with Go to trademarkfactory.com and book your free call with our strategy advisors. That's all they do. They pick up the phone and they answer your questions about your trademarking strategy. So the call is free. The advice is priceless. Book that call right now. And until then, I will see you in the next video.